do, and if we were to get about half of that, we'd be saving approximately 800 pounds a month. We would hit 50% target? Yeah. Seven so, percent And I don't, I don't know how definitely ambitious that would be, but I'm confident then from that, if we were to get 50% target, um, we get 560 a month under that, and I'm just wondering whether, whether any, any investment sooner to help us reach that target would be worthwhile. I think it's always important we commit to a thousand pounds to get up to that target. I don't know what it would require, but I'd certainly like to explore that. Um, through you, Jay, yes. Uh, it would be if those numbers do stack up as potentially um, achievable. One of the things I'm not sure if it is in this one, but I know it was in previous ones, that when we've discussed direct debit in this particular field, that other local authorities have not been able to reach the levels that certainly this was originally being targeted for and say that I can show that what we've got on direct debit at the moment, we've probably got something like 90 plus thousand of the 120 thousand are actually paid, do pay by direct debit for council tax. And when we talk with our colleagues in Merseyside, they, they do not get those kind of levels. So I totally agree, yes, whatever number we can achieve that is a saving of that kind of level on every payment in each month. Um, so is, is 30% your maximum achievable really? Or is it, what, what would be a high ambition target that we could actually achieve with the investment into that? Uh, without actually going through, I would say that 30% is, is probably the maximum that we would think. And obviously we're only targeting half the people that we can get to because we can't do the nursing at home ones because the system won't allow us to do that because of the way it's built. That will be covered in the new adult social services IT system. So effectively we are only targeting about half the total that we can actually get to. But I totally agree, the more we get on, the more we save. Briefly. It is very brief. Um, page 31. Um, percentage question rate on additional debit uh, in that council tax support um, scheme. Performance during the period is 59.4% and we're lowering our target to 59.2%. Just not sure why. Um, I'm not sure why we're lowering the target to 59.2%. Um, Thirty-two percent is what we were at before the first year experience of collecting the additional debits in all those areas has led us to believe, I think as, as Vivian mentioned, that we've tried to review and be realistic as to what we expect we will get, particularly with regards to council tax support where people haven't paid this last year are now having recovery from their benefits, therefore we've got less weekly benefits. We projected that there will be a reduction in those people who pay this anyway as they fall unable to pay. So it is trying to be reflective of what we believe the true situation will be, which in these kind of areas is there will be a slight decrease in payment.
There's no specific figures as how much applies to whether it's volunteers or the chambers of the opening hours, um, including what we will be doing when we talk to community groups. It will be dependent on how many volunteers actually come forward, how reliable they are, where they are in particular areas. So overall, it's predicated on really changing the opening hours, which is the major one, and it will be supported because it's what we would refer to as lean staffing, that you'd actually go from how many people you've got on site so if there would be two at periods, you could have one supported by another body that's in there, which is potentially uh, a volunteer. So there isn't a split as to how much that does, it is, it is really a total. If no volunteers come forward uh, effectively, uh, as Vivian's mentioned already, that we are working on how we then uh, continue with the number of libraries we've got, how they would be then discussed with our trade union staff representatives as to how we can then have the right number of staff and how many hours they are open for. Um, clearly the intention for us is to try and maximise support from the community, but then it would be then to look as to what that comes forward uh, to be able to maintain the libraries as being open uh, with the correct opening hours they require for each of the sites. Yes, we met them actually on Saturday. Uh, the, we now have not only individual friend, friends groups, a, a number of libraries, there is now an over, overhead uh, friends group with Wirral, which all merged together. They met on Saturday um, and we detailed to them uh, with regards to the plans of looking at how different types of groups they are keen to be involved to be able to both influence the conversation with other groups as well as put their own view. But yes, the friends and, and I think some libraries have got user groups as well as friends groups and to try and make sure that we do cover all of them because we do obviously understand that everybody will want to be involved in the community libraries in their particular areas. So yes, we are trying to make sure we do cover those. Bill, do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, Problem, the strategic problem or logistic problem is the loan worker policy that if creditors are able to turn up for short notice in the we then end up with a um, loan worker policy of safety of staff suggesting that we will pay a portion of the It's really true, that is, that is what we then have to look at with regards. We do already have independent workers going out, we do have places where that occurs. It would be in agreement with our uh, particular libraries and areas as to how you effectively do that and ensure that the health and safety is properly risk assessed to be able to deliver that. Uh, whether or not there is somebody else, as a, there are two people, whether one's a volunteer or one's actually in, only by themselves, it's making sure that we've got that properly risk assessed before we move to it. And clearly that would be the intention, whatever we do at any site. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is the Clare programme. So, um, just to remind members that any ideas or items to be considered need to, need to be discussed with your scopes. Um, I'd also like to start off by 
I did have a meeting with Paul and Adam and Phil a few weeks ago on the really discussed the two <coughs> items that were sort of still on the agenda from last year, the last um, year, the single year, and we came to an agreement that one of them, which was looking at symptoms of abstinence, would not be very fruitful or valuable at this moment in time, given the changes to staff that's happening and will happen. We just didn't think that would be a particularly constructive piece of work. So, the one that was um, still on the agenda, which we did agree in terms of this in the last meeting, and uh, people like to read that out again to refresh your memories. It's on the local welfare system scheme, and we wanted to set up a task and finish group to examine future options to the local welfare, for the local welfare system scheme as a potential piece of work in a unique municipal year, recognising that the timing of this is critical. Now, this is because, um, as we know, local welfare assistance scheme has replaced what the crisis loans with the DWP. That's now finished. Um, that support has now been devolved to local authorities, and we're not going to have funding after 2015 for that contract. What we thought we would do is task and finish is look at the impact on local authorities, what's going to be placed out for people who are still in need. So we're all happy with that, there won't be one. Okay. Yeah. No. Well, we're, we're going to try and do, we're going to try and get it done before actually, uh, it's going to be a lot of relatively tight focus. We will discuss that at greater length after we've got an initial agreement here tonight. We were hoping to start that pretty soon.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
much for you, the green membership to private. Thank you. Thank you. 